In this movie, we're going to take a look at functionality based around the connection tables. As you know, there are lots of convenient ways to enter data into your E3 projects, and the object-oriented nature of E3 means that this data is always consistent, no matter where it's entered. For those who don't already know, E3 has a number of data entry tables for pins, devices, sheets, and the connection tables. The connection tables have been enhanced to now incorporate the wire core, conductor name, and the material type. So now we have a central location in which we can modify connection information without having to visit each wire individually or rely on the device table. So for example, we can filter for a selection of wires or reorder the wires by double clicking at the top on the headers. Um, we can also rename them using Excel style conventions with drag and drop functionality. This of course updates the project as well as any reports that might exist. In addition to the wire names, we can also change the wire type used by simply dragging the wires from the database and dropping them onto the connection in the table. This will replace the existing wire type and then again we can use Excel style conventions to modify that throughout the project. And of course it doesn't matter whether you're working in an ANSI style or an IEC style. The functionality is exactly the same. In addition we can also modify the signal names within this same table. Having the ability to centrally manage and control the connection properties means we have once again reduced the number of clicks required to modify project properties, which will go towards speeding up your design processes. For more information on E3 series from Zukin, please visit our website at zukin.com slash E3 series.